In today's video, I'm going to show you a simple way to 10x your productivity in Thinkorswim using this very simple but handy toolbar. I'll show you not only how to configure this toolbar, but do so in a way that allows you to save a lot of time and effort so that, say, anytime you want to test different setups, different time frames, all you need to do is click one button instead of come in here, load in your custom indicators, fumble with your time frames, all of that good stuff. Say I want to go from the daily time frame to maybe the stock volatility box models in Oracle. I just click this button and all of a sudden you can see I'm now on the two minute time frame. I have all of our indicator sets loaded on and everything is ready to go. So that's the whole idea of today's video. I'm going to show you how to set up this toolbar in a way similar to how I have it, which allows me to really just maximize my productivity inside of Thinkorswim. Now let's get started with first showing you how to add the toolbar in the first place. Now inside of Thinkorswim, start by clicking the settings icon right up here. And inside of the settings icon, you should notice a my tool section on the general tab. This is the main tab that you're taken to. And there you should notice my tools. Now by default, Thinkorswim leaves this option as off. So if I click off, you'll notice that toolbar right here just disappeared. Now to bring the toolbar back, simply change this from off to on each chart and click apply. And now you should see a toolbar. Now by default, you might have just one button loaded on. If you've already configured it before, you might have a few more buttons, but usually you have just the one button. You can add up to seven buttons before Thinkorswim will gray out the ability to add a new button here. So you can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now I can no longer add any more buttons. So you need to be a little bit intelligent with how you divvy up your buttons. Now with each button, you can link it to a few different things. The first one is a drawing tool, which in my opinion is a waste of what is otherwise prime real estate. You can connect it to any one of the drawing tools that you could otherwise reference right here. And maybe you would like that a little bit handier, but in my opinion, this real estate is better used on something like study sets or styles. Both of these allow you to link a large group of studies and configure your settings in such a way that it really, I think, saves you a lot of time. So before we move further, let me quickly walk you through the difference between these two, a study set and a style. So you know which one you'd like to use and configure your buttons to. Now let's start first with understanding what a style is, because I think that's the one most of you would want to use. A style allows you to save all of the studies on your chart that you have loaded on, but it also allows you to save the time frame. So say for example, you're using a particular time frame chart, maybe a two minute time frame or a five minute time frame with a particular set of studies loaded on. For all stock volatility box members, this is typically what we do. You might also have an additional set divided for aggressive versus conservative models. You might also have some particular chart settings that you'd like to save. Maybe you have extended hours turned on versus off. Maybe you have a set number of bars for your time axis. All of those things would be considered chart settings. So if you'd like all of these settings to be saved as part of whatever indicator set you save, then a style is better suited for you. In my opinion, a style is best used when you want to load in an entire setup's workspace in one click. And an example of that would be the momentum reversal setup for all of our stock volatility box members. There we have requirements or things that we're looking for, maybe a two minute or a five minute time frame chart. So we're linked to a particular time frame. We also have extended hours turned on. So we have a particular chart setting and we have a series of indicators for that setup that we'd like to also save alongside all of these settings. So that's where a style, in my opinion, is the best method out of these two for this particular job. Now a style might not be best suited and a study set might be better if all you're looking to do is save only the studies and you want to preserve whatever time frame chart you're on. So say you're on a daily time frame chart and you like to look at a daily time frame using a few different lenses. Maybe one is using some trend indicators, the market pulse, the squeeze, something like that. Maybe another method is using oversold, overbought indicators, things like the RSI, or maybe fundamental versus technical. 
That's where you'd like to only save the study set instead of the time frame, the chart settings, any of that. That's where the study set comes into play. It's when you only want to load in a new set of indicators onto your existing charts, but keep all of your previous settings. Now, an example of this for all of our stock volatility box members is when you'd like to compare, say, daily versus hourly volatility box models. Maybe you already have the time frame selected on your chart, and all you want to do is just swap between the aggressive and the conservative models, but keep everything else on your charts as is. Then a study set would be better suited for the job compared to a style, which would still save things like time frame and overwrite whatever your current settings are. So that's a quick difference between the two, a style and a study set. Now let's jump back to Thinkorswim so that we can finish configuring our toolbar. So back to Thinkorswim, where we have this trend line, instead we might want to link that to a style or we might want to link that to a study set. Now you understand the difference between the two. In order to create a style, you can do so by clicking the style tab right here, the style dropdown. And there you'll notice a button at the bottom which says save style and that will open up this prompt. Make sure to select include patterns and study set whenever you click this and that will then allow you to save not only this particular time frame chart, all of the chart settings that you have along with the indicators you have loaded on. In order to save a study set instead, you need to click the study settings icon and there you'll notice the save as a set button which will come in anytime you load in an indicator. Then you just click save as a set. You give this a name and that's how you have a study set loaded on your charts. So now you know not only how to add this toolbar, but you know how to configure it to both study sets and styles. Hopefully through this video, you've understood the power of study sets and styles. You've been able to figure out which ones might be better suited for your particular trading style, the setup that you like to use. But I think for most folks, the style will be the winner where you can very quickly navigate between different time frame charts, different setups altogether. One last time, if I demonstrate this on Oracle, let's say you wanted to start with the opening range breakout strategy early in the morning. I click the ORB button and all of a sudden I have the ORB indicator loaded on with all of the settings that I care to see. A one minute time frame chart, the five minute breakout loaded on right off the bat. I have the targets plotting, all of that good stuff ready to go at my fingertips. If say instead of the ORB setup, I want to now see the stock volatility box models. I can just click this one button and all of a sudden my chart changes with the correct set of indicators along with the time frame that I like to use and everything is configured in a way that is recognizable and ready to go for my setup. I've saved all of the time, not needing to fumble with settings, not needing to load new indicators, any of that good stuff. I've done my work beforehand, which allows me to essentially save a lot of time going forward. I hope you found this video useful for everyone looking to learn how to best use the toolbar inside of Thinkorswim to really enhance your productivity and bring out the best that Thinkorswim has to offer. Take care everyone, good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.